see this. Okay. <sighs> All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with another Horseman video that has been requested quite a bit for the past, like, when did Apocalypse come out? July? August? 10 months or so? 11 months or so? I've been getting a lot of Bishop requests for months now. Um, I've been wanting to mess with this guy as a horseman as well. As a 5 star, up at rank 5, so we're finally going to take him up. We're going to sig him up. We're going to take him into some really interesting horseman type content and see what we can do with this guy. We're also going to, you know, just play with Bishop as he is, um as a horseman in non-horseman cheesable content as well, just to see how Bishop does at rank five. You know, a lot of people have taken this guy up to rank five for defense, to rank two for defense. Um, and he's not the best defender. You know, he could be a little tricky if you don't know what you're doing or if you uh, bring, you know, the wrong attacker against this guy. But I feel like Bishop's one of those champions where like, he's definitely certainly decent. <laughs> But he's not, he's not the best. And and when he's in a, a class, you know, like the mutant class. Um, well, you know, uh, <laughs> he's got some competition and he doesn't really live up to pretty much the rest of the champions with that little green star here on this screen or just about any of the other ones as well without it. Um, but let's go ahead and check into him here a bit. So Foresight up at level 200. And, uh, you know, this gives him like his... All right, man, so let's jump right in today. So we got a nice little synergy team here that's completely blocked by Mango Eggnog here. And let's take a look at it. So obviously we have Apocalypse here, right, with uh, with Cable. And we're going along Mango Eggnog here, and he has a really nice synergy with Bishop. 25% regeneration rate and plus 30% prowess potency. Mango has a lot of really good synergies, man. He has that great synergy for crossbones, a really good one for Havoc here. Um, he has a nice one for Odin. That's, I mean, yeah, that, that's that's more than enough. That That's more than enough. I hope that guy gets buffed, man, because he, he is brought along on a lot of teams for a lot of specific teams. But anyway, then we have Storm Pure with X here. Um, there's two synergies here, the Mutant Agenda and also the Setup and Spike here, which is nice for Bishop. Every 15 seconds, you generate a power gain buff, right? And then, while it's active, each power has increased special attack damage by an additional 3%. So that's definitely nice. A lot of good synergy stuff going on here. Um, some recent synergies, too, for a Bishop, which is nice. I haven't seen Explore too much. But basically... Um, the way Bishop works is very interesting. Um, first things first, he's very good against skill champions, and specifically uh, uh, skill champions with energy damage, if any of those exist, because energy damage and uh, skill champions, he gains like more prowess, and you gain prowess by uh, parrying and whatnot. Um, and then, you know, the more prowess you have, the stronger your special attacks are, and there are different things that you can do uh, with your prowess. You go into the next fight with as many, uh, with as much power as you had in the previous fight at the end. And as you can see with the SIG ability here, um, there's a bunch of different benefits. You can read it if you want to. We're not going to read through all of his abilities. Um, but basically, um, that's basically how that works. And then his special attacks have some like interesting things going on where the special two is really, really increased in damage if you use it at the very beginning of the fight. And the special three as well, look at that. This increases plus 70% damage against enemies at full health, which is really, really good. Um, that's really good. And another thing about this guy is that he can actually regenerate kind of okay if you hold block, kind of like blade, which is interesting. Um, but if you don't do that and you have too much prowess, you're gonna take some, uh, some damage, which is all right man so we're gonna jump in with bishop here today and the way bishop works he's really good against skill champions and really good against champions with energy damage okay kind of like a, a human torch in a way but under uh you know different circumstances right um and basically you power you gain prowess and the more prowess well the more damage that you're gonna do so check this out that was a big huge special too and now we're gonna do it all over again. And another way he works, of course, is that um, depending on how much power you end the fight with, well, that's essentially how much uh, power he's gonna start the next fight with, which is a pretty interesting mechanic. And based on his SIG ability, he's gonna gain different benefits, you know, throughout the fight. 
that way. Now here's the thing, there's also other stuff he has where, for example, the special two does more damage if you do it in the first 12 seconds of the fight. Um, the special three does more damage if um, they're out of full health bar the opponent, right? But I found, you know, I'm actually recording this Winter Soldier fight after I recorded the rest, the rest of the video. And we tried it, we tried it, and you know what? If it lines up, it's pretty dope. But overall, it's very hard to line up those kind of things on purpose, especially when the health pool is this high right but as you can see guys he has a very interesting and fun play style and he's actually really fun with the mutant power back boost and i think i'm gonna show that to you because we're gonna try something a little bit more fun here um we discovered that bishop is really fun with the mutant power boost so we're gonna have some fun here because he's not the best without it um he's not as fun and cheesy without it but watch this This is definitely a lot more fun to play. Um, obviously, it's not super duper realistic to use this guy with this boost everywhere you go. Um, but if you're using him for like, I don't even know, man, if you use him for like a legend run or something, you're gonna have the boost on. If you use him in war, right? That's what those boosts are really for. And he's kind of rinsing through Winter Soldier here with these boosts on. Um, like he's doing really well with the boosts. That was a huge, 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 huge special two. Let's go for one more. And now, yeah, keep in mind um, that he's gonna, his special three is gonna have increased power if they're below 10%, but we can just kill him with this. Yeah, so that was definitely a lot more fun. Um, so maybe I'll put this in after the original Winter Soldier video, or maybe just in place of it. Who knows? But anyway, my dudes, let's keep going. Okay, so we're here for our usual mutant horseman testing ground here. 6.4.1 Thor, um, Biohazard, Nano Plague, Tunnel Vision. Let's see, man. I feel like Bishop's actually going to be pretty decent here because the health pool isn't too crazy. But also, we can, you know... We gotta do a lot of parries. Parry, light, medium, light, medium. And if we parry Thor's special one, that's gonna be a little far away, but that would be some nice energy damage. Let's go for a special two here. The mutant power boost is really nice here with this size health pool. So that is actually really nice. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, bait out this... Um, Special two. Let's go for this. Puts us right under special two again. Again, we're a little far away from that special one, unfortunately. Maybe we can try and bait it out. There we go. Ah, that pushed us above. That's okay. So now what we can do is we can get Thor to... Um, under 15% health. Actually, no, because we're about to start overloading. So let's go for the special three here. Let's see if this kills him. It might. We have 22 prowesses. I'm down to 7%. So the special three, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with the special three, but it's not doing as much damage as it would have liked. But actually, I think that's okay because now... Ah, we're going to go into the next fight with uh, three bars of power. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, cool. Let's move on. That was a really good fight. I mean, we finished off full health. We have a skill champion up next. Um, let's read this special three one more time. This increases to plus 70% damage against enemies at full health. Doesn't feel that way. Why is the special two? doing so much more damage. I feel like I, I've seen videos of uh, Bishop Special 3 doing like massive damage. Who knows? Let's see. Against Stealthy, we've got a skill champion here. We're gonna gain a lot more prowess fast. And plus, it's better AI. It's not, it's not Winter Soldier AI. Let's 
Let's see. But I had to falter on me. I hope this doesn't like miss. I don't think that's how that works. Let's see. Oh, that was really good. Okay. Now that was interesting. That was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so this guy is not meant for Realm of Legends health pools. I think that's just very clear. That's what we've learned today. There's one thing we learned today. It's that Bishop is not meant for Realm of Legends. So I might cut those videos out. So if I've said anything about Realm of Legends, ignore it. Ignore what I said in the past. We're going to continue on this path here because Bishop is looking pretty good. Now, he's not too great against tech champions. A lot of his abilities don't work well against tech champions. Keep that in mind. Yes, yeah, see, we're not really getting the prowess there. Um, so he's going to be a bit of a noodle here against Rocket Raccoon. Um, still decent special twos. But yeah. Yeah. I think the only way that we can like gain a bunch of prowess here is if we were to get hit by rocket special two and get the incinerate on us. Let's try it. That killed us in one shot. <laughs> All right, let's get through rocket and uh, maybe do something else. All right, we're actually gonna try something a little cheesy here. We have energy adoption. I feel like Bishop might do really well here with the power boost. Um, energy adoption fire, hot and bothered, Icarus, lots of fun stuff here. So, you know, let's uh, make him a horseman. All right, we're ready to go. Um, we're going to have to keep an eye out on Icarus here. So, let's take a look. It's going to be hard to get the heavies off, but ooh, look at all these prowesses that we're getting. Ooh. That's pretty fun. Let's see what happens here. We didn't have too many prowesses at all from that special three. Um, oh, look at his power, though, dude. Ooh, that. He's a pretty interesting option for energy adoption. I wonder if he would be faster then Ghost and Kingpin and Havoc for Legend Runs. Interesting idea. So now we're gonna start with two bars of power. So basically, if we use the special two right away, also, yeah, um, plus 30% damage of activated in the first 12 seconds of the fight. So let's give it a shot here. Of course, with Hella, she's gonna go indestructible, probably gonna fall down to zero health. It's probably gonna be really annoying. Let's see here. We didn't have any prowess, but maybe we can get another one off with this prowess. A third one. And then this. Let's see if Pella goes down to 1% health, because if Pella goes down to 1% health, that's going to be pretty darn cool. 4% health. Very interesting. Now if we can... Um, Go for this. Wow, dude. Okay, hell is indestructible got in the way there. But we're going to keep going um, on this path because that's pretty interesting. So we're going to throw off with evil here. Let's just go like that. And that should uh, kill her off just fine. Once that indestructible goes away. So the thing that's annoying about the um, the incinerate is that it makes it hard to parry, right? But yeah, so cool. Let's uh, keep going, man, because Bishop is definitely impressing me on this path with this playstyle with the mutant power boost. I expected this to just be like a fun, cheesy lane, um, but he's actually doing really, really well. Which is interesting. Now, are we going to start with three bars of power here? We are. Now, can we gain incinerates this way? Oh, guys.
Let's see. Hulk's at full health, so it's gonna have plus 70% damage. We're in courage range, and we have a bunch of prowess. Decent. Let's see where that brings our uh, power meter, though. Two bars exactly. And then... Oh! So it takes some practice, man, but it's interesting. We're going to keep going. Capable MVP. Um, so up next is the Stealth Spidey again, and we did really well against the prior Stealth Spidey. And I think we're going to start with three bars of power once more. So let's give it a look here. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to try the same thing. Keep in mind, we're using a bunch of items here, so this isn't too realistic, but it is fun to see. <laughs> We're going to try to gain our incinerates right away by taking hits on the block. Here we go. And okay. Yeah, let's see. Thirty nine prowesses. <laughs> this should get stealthy to like at least 30 percent health. Let's see. Thirty eight. Look at that. And now we should be back at another special three. Wait one second here to gain some more prowess. And yeah, this should kill him off, man. So this is really cool. This is really cool. Um, it definitely takes some getting used to when it comes to the cheese, but like, whoa. Whoa, dude. That, two hits. You start with three bars. Chain the three bars. That's interesting, man. Um, obviously I'm just playing all this and learning him in real time, so I'm no bishop expert whatsoever. I'm gonna start with zero bars this time, so keep that in mind. Let's see this. Okay. <sighs> yeah, guys, this guy, like, literally might be faster than, like, Ghost and Kingpin and Havoc for energy adoption. Holy crap, dude. Wow. He definitely has less hits. I mean, Havoc can do it in, like, zero hits. That is interesting, man. Whoa. He's fun in the right scenario, I'll tell you that. Yeah, he, he's fun in the right scenario, man. I think we're going to end the video there. Let's end on a high note. Um, against, you know, like normal fights, he's okay. Against like, you know, um, Realm of Legend type fights, he's not the best. But in those cheesy scenarios where he could take advantage of like the energy damage, he is really fun to use, guys. Very interesting, to say the least. But anyway, my dudes, I think that's going to be it for this Horseman Bishop video. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to include the Realm of Legend fights or not. We'll have to see. Uh, maybe just the Winter Soldier one at least. Maybe I'll redo the Winter Soldier one that I have a better, a better grasp on this guy. But anyway, my dudes, that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, do your boy a big old favor and drop a big old like. Comment what you think about Bishop as a horseman in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any other future horseman gameplay coming to you very, very soon. Senior you around.